Going back to our previous program, if you have the settings set to always show report, you will see the time that the stimuli were presented. However, the report so far doesn't contain information about what each stimulus actually was. For stimulus event information to appear in the log file, each stimulus event must have an event code associated with it. Currently, the stimulus event stim event has a fixed event code set using the SDL code parameter. You can update the event code in your program using the stimulus event set event code method, which takes a string argument. In the case of the Simon effect experiment, it would be nice to have both the color and position information. For the sake of readability and to avoid errors, it would be nice if the color information showed red and blue and the position information showed left and right, rather than the ones and twos that are in the trial list array. For the color of the boxes, we can take advantage of the description stimulus object property. The description property can be any string and is a way of attaching information about an object to the object. As you can see from the stimulus object page, box is a child of the stimulus object type and therefore inherits this property. We can set the description of the boxes in SDL. Then, in PCL, when we set up the picture, we can also update the stimulus events event code to include the description from the box that is being used. Since we are using this box object in two method calls, we can store a reference to it in a temporary variable to make the code easier to read. After the run, the report now indicates the colour of the boxes that were shown. The description property is useful for the colour of the boxes, but the same will not work for the position. The position information is kept in an int array, and there is no description property for ints. Instead, we can create a string array with the strings we will want to use for the codes. Because we were indexing this string array with the same index as the int positions array, we need to be careful that the strings are in the same order as the positions. We also will not want to shuffle these two arrays as they might then end up in an incorrect order with respect to one another. Then in the loop we can reference the position codes array using the same index as we used for the positions array. To make this easier to read, we again use a variable to hold the position index which is now used in two places. To avoid having event codes like blue left, we also add a string containing a semicolon as a delimiter. We are using plus to add these strings together which has the effect of concatenating them. Now when the scenario is run, you can confirm that the correct number of each type of stimuli were presented.